with Dan Bradbury, and he is the CEO of V Rooms Virtual Data Rooms. Thanks so much for joining us, Dan. Glad to be here. Tell me a little bit about what V Rooms Virtual Data Rooms does. Right. We uh, several years ago, about eight years ago, there's a real trend and shift in how information needed to be managed, uh, specifically for merger and acquisition transactions, kind of the secure exchange of information. So the entire industry of virtual data rooms grew out of what used to be a due diligence war room. Mm -hmm. If you can envision where uh, one company is buying another company, so the selling company would literally cart into their attorney's office dozens of boxes of information, <clears throat> which would then be poured over by the buyers, attorneys, and accountants after several days of smoke and mirrors and coffee stains and here make a copy of this, here make a copy of this. Then the idea came about of what we really need to do is to take this information, since most of it is in electronic form now anyway, scan it, put it into a very secure online website whereby then you really control who has access to that information at any given time. And you're also able to see who has looked at the information. Uh, you can arrange the information by security levels so that uh, as a transaction or a deal progresses, they can see more and more information. When we talk about the financial regulatory compliance, how can this area, this industry, the virtual data rooms assist in meeting the new requirements that are coming out of that? Mm -hmm. Right, and the Obama administration pushed through a, uh, a heightened requirement from a regulatory standpoint for the exchange of this information. Transparency is the key word. Mm -hmm. So given a virtual data room or this type of um, uh, document exchange, what one is able to do as a corporation you can actually control the, the notification of, I'm about to issue some information to you as an investor or as a uh, limited partner. I'm about to, information, excuse me, about to uh, issue this information to you, and I'm also going to then track that you have actually picked that information up and put it into a log so that three months down the road, six months down the road, when someone comes in and says, I didn't receive that information, you go back, well, on June the 9th at 9 p.m., you received the information, we may not be able to prove that you read it, but we can prove that it was in your possession. So this closes the loop on this regulatory side where now uh, companies can make more information uh, transparent and available, but also have the tracking mechanism to prove that they did that to meet the new regulatory requirements. Just about two weeks ago, we were, re were retained, or our virtual data room was requested by an investment banker located in Paris who was representing a buyer who was in Canada, and the company was in Hong Kong. So if you can imagine the, uh, the, the DHL or the FedEx uh, expenses associated with exchanging the information uh, being uh, tremendous, but also just the delay in time of getting information back and forth. So that has really increased um, uh, the need for this virtualization of information, especially now in the global environment. <laughs>